And in business news now, some stakeholders in different sectors believe Nigeria has the prospect for economic growth for the year 2021 in a bid to bring the nation out of recession, urging the government for proper investment. This advice was given during the 7th National Economic Outlook organized virtually by the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Jacinta Obioko reports. It is no news that economic crisis faced by many countries in the world today, which Nigeria is not exempted, is caused primarily by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the hope is that the year 2021 will be a better year for the nation's economy. But how and what are the things to be done is the essence of this webinar. Borrowing is not a Nigeria-specific matter. You look around the world and you see that a lot of countries have borrowed a huge amount. Now, one of the challenges that Nigeria must respond to in 2021 and beyond is what is the utilization of what is borrowed. Fortunately for us, the international environment, uh, the latest World Bank numbers for, sorry, review it published in this uh, uh, about a week or there about ago, shows projects positive growth as far as the global economy is concerned. And so that's the first thing that we have to take, you know, um, uh, cognizance of. They also analyzed the outlook of the nation's economy for the year. From the World Bank Global Economic Outlook for 2021, it says the global economy is emerging from the collapse triggered by the pandemic. The recovery is projected to be subdued. Global output is expected to expand 4% this year, but still remain more than 5% below its pre-pandemic trend. But good news, emerging markets and developing economies will grow by 5%. Nigeria belongs in that group, but Nigeria's growth is going to be very weak. And here are some of the suggestions to the government on different sectors. Certainly, um, 2021 will be a better year. The challenges will continue, but significant opportunities are also there. And I want to give practical example because that is the perspective we should have. I don't want to go on to the figures and everything like that. Yeah. One, it is important that we should take a look at the economic sustainability plan and see how people can run with it. I think for the health sector, the opportunity um, is available with technology. Um, COVID, we've seen the use of um, technology for telemedicine, and also that means doctors can, you know, the patients do not necessarily have to come to the hospitals. The consensus here is deduced from the proverbial, once bitten, twice shy. Therefore, Nigerians will have no excuse not to create a buffer from the second wave of COVID-19. Jacinta Ubuku for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.